I'm Emily from the blog FearlessDIY.com and today I'm going to show you how I make a homemade chicken pot pie. Kind of homemade. Mostly. So my husband loves chicken pot pie and I, I just decided one night to try to like make him one because now that we're dairy free we can't have any of the ones that have you know dairy in the, in the mix. And so um, I made up this particular recipe and he loved it. And then I just had a coworker who had a baby and so I took it to their house um, for a meal and it got some good feedback. So I'm gonna share it with you all. Um, it's super easy because it uses a rotisserie chicken. I use pie crust that is already made. And then usually I use um, whatever roasted vegetables I already have on hand, like whatever I roasted up that week, whether it's carrots or uh, green beans or broccoli or I mean whatever you can put whatever in this you just mix it in and then the awesome sauce is what makes all of the difference and brings it all together so let's get started okay so you start by melting four tablespoons of your kind your desired fat whether it's butter or margarine I use um, Crisco butter flavored Crisco and then I'm taking two tablespoons of flour and I'm whisking it in and cooking it and this is how we're going to make our roux. It's just a fancy word, you know, for like a gravy, picking up gravy. Get all your lumps out. Okay, now we're going to add two cups of hot chicken stock, chicken bouillon, bone broth, whatever you've got. And then you're gonna let this cook down. Just let it thicken a little bit. thicken. Although honestly, you don't really have to let it thicken too awful much because you're going to put a bunch of stuff in it and then put it in your pie plate and bake it. So it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now I add in my uh, dairy or cream or whatever. So if, if you're able to eat dairy, this is when I would pour in heavy whipping cream and I don't know, a cup or so. So I'm using full fat coconut milk. And I just pour the whole can in. Get it all mixed in and incorporated. That just adds a richness. Obviously, with heavy whipping cream, it just is delicious. Okay. Now, I just add my veggies. So I don't have any roasted veggies this week. Well, I do, but they're uh, baked sweet potatoes, so it didn't, it wouldn't have worked. They're just mushed up. So I add in my peas and carrots this time, and I'm adding in half, uh, basically, of a rotisserie chicken. Okay, I just debone it and then cut it up and stick it in. Normally, I'll have a rotisserie chicken like for dinner the night before, um, and then I just use what's left over in this pot pie. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bake mine right away, but you could, if you put these in an aluminum foil pie pan or something like that, you could freeze these. And then, you know, pull them out. Now you probably have to cook it a little bit longer, you know, a little bit more than an hour or something, because normally I cook these about 45 minutes when it's not frozen. All right. So now we're going to carefully transfer the goodness into the pie plate. 
Hopefully this goes well. Well, it went well-ish. Okay. Oh my goodness! Escapees! Ah! Come on over here. Now, one of the rules of a pot pie is that you must put a pan, a sheet underneath it in the oven, okay? Because it will over, it will overflow. All right, I scooped some of the excess out. Now, I'm just taking my other pre-made pie crust. Rolling it out on top, and we'll make some slits. Listen, my mom makes a good pie crust, and so does my sister, but I did not get that skill. I mean, I can make it in a pinch, but I'd rather not. Okay, so I just fold the edges over. Now, to get a pretty crust, I take two fingers and one finger, and I just pinch all the way around. I push the one finger into the two fingers. Now, you're supposed to get the two pie crusts together I can't ever seem to do that all the way around. Probably wouldn't leak as much if I did, but not too concerned about it. Cut a little design in it if you want, but you gotta leave some room for vent. There we go. Now I'm gonna stick it in the oven um, with a pie pan uh, or with a cookie sheet underneath it for 45 minutes and it's at 425. I've already got the cookie sheet in the oven. Okay, it's been 45 minutes, something smelling good. Can't go wrong. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. And the best thing is, is that it uses up like extra food you've already got. Like the extra rotisserie chicken that I use and I use up my leftover vegetables, whatever I've got. And it is a perfect cool weather treat. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Run out and make it today.